let's talk Christmas. Come on in, welcome to my home. I know you think it is way, way, way too early to talk Christmas, but it's not. It really isn't. Here's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to give you a quick update to where I am with my Christmas planning. All right, so we know so far that in this area, we're going to have a Christmas village up above my kitchen cabinets, which will be visually interesting for these videos. And will also be the village is lit and or lighted, lit, lighted, it doesn't matter. Um, it will also be visually interesting for me at night because like I've said in my other videos, I actually do live here. Now going into the other bedrooms, I'm going to take away some of the things which I really liked last year that I did. In my, last year in my office, I did the Land of Snowflakes. I really liked that look. It was so cool. And it goes with my theme. Wondering what my theme is? No, I'll give you more hints as we go along. And I probably actually told you this, but I'm not going to say it again right now. So I'm going to carry more of that winter wonderland feel throughout the whole entire house. Now, one of the things that I did find that I loved last year were the gar lighted garlands. And they work really well in the living room, dining room, and the off. I didn't do one in the office. I did it around the hutch. That we will do again this year because at night, especially when it was when we went into the uh, daylight savings time or when we got out of daylight savings time it was really dark here it gets really dark early here so that gave me extra light and it looks really really cool now one of the things that i will also do this year is the christmas tree will still be here i like that simply because if i try to put it in front of a window like i normally would blocks too much light <laughs> can't can't block light here it's really dark so we can't do that uh, the pieces that I'm going to find is I know that I'm gonna to have to start looking for trees that will go up here up above probably some of them will have lights on them with my little miniature village I'll also be getting to look at how I'm going to do the bigger houses will be towards the front the smaller houses will be towards the back so that way it'll give it some dimension now, as you can see, up above, I do have some lights up there. I want to figure out how to get the lights so that it gives me that panoramic kind of look and I can have different looks for the different times of day. That might be wishful thinking, but we will see. But there's where I am with my Christmas decorations. So I know that I'm now looking at things like going to hobby shops, looking for miniature trees, looking for miniature lighted trees. I have an N-gauge train that I might actually be able to use this year to put up somewhere so that I can also set up a miniature Christmas village in that area. We'll see, it's all wishful thinking. But I thought I would update you. I'm gonna do like once a month updates, which means that also, <laughs> which also means I'm gonna to have to actually be doing things. But there's the plan. Now in my bedroom, we are gonna stick with the Winter Wonderland theme, like I said, goes throughout all of this. And you're going, well, you just told us what the entire theme is. We'll see, we'll see. But I hope you like that. Let me know how your plans are going. Have you started? Please remember, the earlier that you start, the easier you will make your life. And I hope we get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.